In this lesson, we will learn details about subset. Suppose we have a set A, the elements are 1, 2, and 3. And we have another set B, the elements are 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Notice that both of the sets have 1, 2, 3 in common. Let's draw the set. This is B. The elements of B are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And this is set A. It is clearly visible that A is a part of B. When it happens, we say A is a subset of B. This is the symbol of subset. So we can say if A and B are sets, then A is called the subset of B if and only if every element of A is also an element of B. Suppose we have two more sets, C and D. The elements of C are 1, 2, 3, and elements of D are 1, 2, 3. Now what do you think? C is subset of D or D is subset of C? As every element of C is also an element of D by definition. C is a subset of D. And the same thing is true for D. That means D is a subset of C. So we can say each set is a subset to itself. Here you can see that C and D are the same set. That means we can say C is a subset of C and D is a subset of D. When two sets are subset of each other, for example, C is a subset of D and D is a subset of C, we can say that both sets are equal. Let's take another set E, which is actually an empty set. If I say E is a subset of C, is it true? What do you think? Yes, it is true. Empty set is subset of every set. For example, if we add an empty set with C, it still remains the set of 1, 2, 3. Basically, empty set is an element of every set and we do not explicitly mention it. Now we are going to talk about proper subset. This is the symbol of proper subset. 
It looks like the symbol of subset. However, it does not have any horizontal line under it. This is the symbol of subset. And this is the symbol of proper subset. Let's take two set, x and y. The elements of x are 1, 2, and 3. The elements of y are 1, 2, 3, and 4. Here, x is a proper subset of y. However, if we remove this 4, then x become just a subset of y. It is no longer the proper subset. If we bring the 4 back, then x again becomes a proper subset of y. We can say x is a proper subset of y only when there is at least one element in y which is not an element of x. Let's have a comparison between subset and proper subset. We have two sets, A and B. The elements of A are 1, 2, 3 and the elements of B are 1, 2, 2, 3. Here, A is a subset of B, or we can say that B is a subset of A, because repeating the element doesn't change the set. However, it is not a proper subset. Suppose A equals 1, 2, 3 and B now has one extra element that is 4. Then this 4 is the element which is not present in A. Now we can say A is a proper subset of B. If there are more than one elements which are not part of A, for example, 4 and 6, still A is a proper subset of B. That means as long as B contains all of the elements of A, including 1 or more elements which are not element of A, we can say A is a proper subset of B. I hope you have understood what is subset and proper subset. Let's practice with some example. Suppose we have a set which elements are 1, 2, 3. Can we say that 1 is an element of this set? Without any doubt, yes. 1 is an element of this set. Now, can we say that 1 is a subset of this set? No. 
it is not a subset of this set because this one is not a set it is an element of this set however if we say set of one is a subset of one two three in that case it is correct because this is a set and this is also a set the element of this set is one and this set also has one in it including two and three that means we can say this set is a proper subset of this set both are correct let's take another example here is a set of a b and c can we write this set is a proper subset of this set yes here the element of this set is also an element of this set and this set includes other two elements that means this one is a proper subset of this set now can we say this is an element of this set no this is incorrect why it is incorrect instead of answering this question let's correct it if we remove this curly bracket and convert it into an element then we can say yes a is an element of this set let's have another example this is a set of set where elements are set of one and set of two now can we say that this set is a subset of this set no it is not correct in order to be a subset elements of this set must have to be an element of this set the elements of this set is set of one and set of two and the element of this set is two that is why it cannot be a subset of this set however if we modify the set a bit by adding a two here then we can say this is a subset of this set because now the element of this set is 2 and this set contains the element 2 as well that means this is a subset of this set and of course it is a proper subset all right that's all about subset and i'll see you in the next lesson